Well, we want to take some time to answer email questions. Right. But and, and Terry, I want to make a statement here. This part of our program, ladies and gentlemen, I answer specific questions from specific people, and my attempt as a pastor is to help them uh, have a better life and to have an answer to their question. But there are organizations, there's one in particular, which I will not name, but it is set out for one purpose, to embarrass those who are conservative on television. And so they take my words and twist them and distort them. But nevertheless, we have had some, some, some wonderful responses to the last time they, they played that game with me. And uh, you've got a, 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 a letter that came and I thought was real precious, and I, I, I want just to let you see what some of the people are saying. Okay, this letter, this is a, a viewer who writes Pat and says, Dear Pat, your answer regarding the woman who's having an extremely difficult time forgiving her husband of his infidelity is in line with how God tells us to forgive. I heard no excuse for the man's poor behavior in your answer to her. What I did hear and understand from you is that no amount of counseling, talking to friends, or trying to forgive will lead her toward healing and moving forward. Actions such as the ones you suggested, which is to focus on the positive and why she was drawn to her husband initially, is the absolute best route to recovery. God forgives us in the same manner a million times a day, and he commands us to do the same. God bless you, and she signs this. A woman who wishes she'd received this same advice on forgiveness prior to her divorce 15 years ago. And then she quotes 2 Corinthians yeah. 10, 5 and Matthew 6, 14 and 15. She me. wishes she'd had those yeah. same advice. Folks, we're here to help you. And, but believe me, there are people who aren't. I they am cost? not politically correct, in case you haven't learned. I yeah. tell and it like it is. Sometimes people misconstrue. Sometimes, often, no, people this, this misconstrue This organization the misconstrues, misconstrues deliberately. They want to do everything they can to make my words, and they twist them. Twist them. Exactly. Twist them. And I will not identify the organization, but one day I, we may have a full-scale expose because it's, it's a nasty group.